problem is to write a python program to get a substring of a string hello everyone a very warm welcome to ws cube tech my name is ayushi jain in this video we will learn how to write a program that will allow us to obtain a substring of a string now guys what is a string a string is everything that is closed inside the double quotations in python and talking about substring is substring is the part of that string that you extract from a major string for example for example if you have a string as harry potter okay and this is your string now substring means what that suppose if you want to extract potter from it or if you want to extract harry from it or you just want to extract pot of potter from it okay so that is what that is a substring so harry could be a substring potter could be a substring pot could be a substring even the letter r h is also a substring that means you extract anything from the major string that is a substring anything that is a part of a string is called as a substring over here now how to extract it to extract it we use indexing now let's understand how does indexing work suppose if you have written harry and potter in this way like you have written it in the format of a string but i'm just writing it a little bit bigger so that you are able to understand so harry potter suppose if we have written it in this way now how does indexing works that this one this h will be on number 0 a will be on 1 r will be on 2 the second r will be on 3 the y will be on 4 this space over here will be on number 5 on 6 we have p 7 8 9 10 11 that means in total if you will count there are how many elements there are 5 plus 6 that is 11 elements and a space right that is 12 elements but here we have 0 to 11 because it starts from 0 that's why 12 elements are counted in this way that it starts from 0 this is how the indexing work now what you can do is you can uh, to obtain a substring over here you can simply write the name of the string that is string open a square bracket and you can write the starting value so three things are required for to obtain a substring that is the starting value the ending value so it, step is not mandatory over here step is only mandatory when you want to give a step like uh, if you want to write h then r then y then p then t then t sorry then e and then r suppose if you want to give a space of two letters in between suppose if you want to give a, a space of three letters in between in that case step is used and suppose if you don't want to give any space then in that case we can completely skip the step over here okay so talking about the starting value and the ending value suppose i want to obtain harry potter over here that means i just want to write harry from harry potter so for that what i'll be doing h is on number 0 that means the starting value is 0 i'll put a colon and 0 1 2 3 4 that means y is on number 4 so, so i won't be writing 4 but i will be writing 4 plus 1 that is 5 so to the ending value we always add plus 1 so if it is going up to 4 we'll be writing 5 if it is going up to 5 we'll be writing 6 suppose if we want to obtain portal we'll be going from 6 so i'll be writing string this method over here where i am obtaining the substring is called as slicing so this again i'll be writing string and this and the starting value over here would be 6 and the ending value over here would be 11 but we'll be writing 12 so that it can go up to 11 this is how it works okay now let's apply this method inside our python and let's see how does it works so for example i'm taking a string a over here inside this i'll be writing harry potter and the goblet of fire okay once i have done this suppose i want to only obtain harry over here for that what i'll be doing i'll be writing print harry from harry h starts from number 0 so a and in the square bracket i'll be writing number 0 that means my starting value and 0 1 2 3 4 that means i'll be writing 5 because uh, in the ending value to the ending value we add plus 1 so 4 plus 1 would be 5 and let's run and see what we will obtain let's first comment this so let me just comment this and first of all let's just print a so if i print a that means our string it would give me so if i print a that means our string so in that case it would give me harry potter and the goblet of fire but only i want to obtain harry for that i'll just do one thing that i'll remove the comment from here as soon as i'll remove the comment and run it so you can now see that in our second part of the code we have received the word harry over here right similarly if you want to add potter also to it so what we'll be doing harry is on number 5 that means the space is on number 5 then 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 
So I'll be writing 12 over here and it goes up to this space because we write 11 plus 1. If we would have written 11, we would have got it till E only. But because we want it up to R, so that's why we'll be writing 12. And as soon as I run it, I'll get whole Harry Potter. Now, not just from the starting of this string, but from the bit between of the string. That means from the middle of the string also, you can extract a substring. How it can be done? Let's have a look. So we know that R is on number 11 and space is on number 12, then the 13 would be A. So let's just obtain end over here. For that, I'll be writing print again A. And as I said, 11, 12, 13, the starting value is 13, colon, ending value. So 13 is A, 14 is B, N, and 15 is D, 16 is the space. So I'll be going up to 16. And if I run it, you can now see we have obtained end over here. This is how it works. Similarly, you can also work from uh, the end as well. So from the end, that means if I talk about from the end, we can also work on the negative indexing. For example, in the in the terms of negative indexing, how does negative indexing work? Let's have a look on that. So for negative indexing, we again have, let's say, Harry Potter. Now our positive indexing worked in this way that it was 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is the space, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Now, how does negative indexing work? That if you have a huge string and you want to obtain maybe, uh, you know, last word. So, in that case, you're not going to count all the way towards the end, right? So, what you can do in that case, the last element over here is also called as minus 1. This one is minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6. The space is minus 7. This one is minus 8, minus 9, minus 10 minus 11 and minus 12 this is how this goes and if i want to obtain potter for that i'll be writing the starting value as minus 6 and the ending value as up to 0 okay so let's apply this method in our program as well so suppose if i want to only obtain fire in that case minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 so minus 4 over here we'll be writing and i'll be writing print a starting value would be minus 4 an ending value, suppose if you're going all the way towards the end, then we don't need to also define the ending value. We can just leave a colon and if I run it, it would give me fire. So this is how this works. So I hope guys that the concept of obtaining a substring from a string is clear to you. All we need to do is do the slicing with the help of our indexing. And I hope you guys have no doubts in the questions. The link of this code is available in the description. And for more such interesting programs, stay connected guys. Thank you.